Good morning, Uncle Mud here, looking outside, it's about 30 degrees, and I wanted to show you, this is how a thermal mass bench works in a rocket heater situation. Even a small bench like this one, uh, ideal size for a rocket mass bench would be three to five tons for this 1800 square foot ish house uh, that's not very well insulated in Cleveland, Ohio. I've got maybe a half a ton of mass here because I'm up on a floor that won't handle a lot of mass. Um, it's a, a double wide trailer. Um, so the uh, rocket heater here, this nice Liberator, uh, I stopped firing it last night about 11. It's about 8.30 in the morning. And this thing is 66 degrees, about the same as the walls in here. And even this little mass here is considerably warmer. That's what heat storage does for you. It keeps everything constant temperature for longer. Long after I quit feeding little sticks into this fire, uh, the house is still fairly warm. And if I had a larger thermal mass, it would be uh, quite a bit warmer, maybe closer to 70 degrees in here still. Um, but uh, I don't, because this is about the most that this house could handle right here. Um, and uh, it does a pretty good job keeping things warm overnight, just keeping the edge off of the cold. So if you have a choice between just a rocket heater or a rocket heater with a mass bench, definitely go with a mass bench. And if you have a choice between a rocket heater and a normal wood stove, um, this uh, little scrap wood that I throw in here, like this stuff, would be a real pain to run a wood stove on, but uh, it works really great for a rocket heater. Just drop it down in here, and it burns really cleanly and efficiently, and uh, saves me lots of money. This stuff is about 30 bucks a cord um, from the uh, flooring mill up the street, and uh, uh, standard cordwood, firewood, in my area is about 300 bucks a cord. Uh, when I had a more standard wood stove before I started building rocket heaters uh, and testing them, um, I was using um, about $1,200 a year in cordwood, and I used less than $100 a year in these uh, in this scrap flooring. Before that, I was using propane, and that was over three thousand dollars a year so that's why i fool around with these things it makes a big difference to my checkbook have a lovely day stay warm